So hello guys, welcome back to another video of MCPE Panda Gaming. As you wanted voice cover since I can't manage the time to do it, I managed to use a nice voice for the video. So today's video is again about the theories of all of you aka Shadow Fight Confusion Bowl 2. So without any further delay let's hop into our questions. The bro that is not true. Just because two people are in the same clan doesn't mean they are blood related. Shadow Fight 2 was based on the goal of Shadow, which actually occurred in the entire game. In Shadow Fight 3 we get to see the conflict of three cultures based on the sphere and also what it costed. Though in the end we find Stranger is the main villain but according to some rumors the end will be different according to factions and decisions. So yes let's wait and see, but as per as I think factions will play a great role in the future of Shadow Fight 3 which is basically indicated in the trailer. Hi bro, both are true, if you haven't know the storyline of SF3 yet I'm sorry for the spoilers, but yes you better read the storyline of Shadow Fight 3. It's amazing and I'll also help you to know more stuffs and things about the Shadow Fight 2 world. No oh bro. There are a lot of things about this which are confusing us, well with the prediction and some origin I made some proper reasons of my own about Stranger's plan, if you are interested, do check this video. Yes some of their stories are still yet unknown, well don't worry, Shadow Fight Arena storyline will let us know about their history. And yes since the timeline of SFA story mode is in SFA world so yes anything can happen at any time, we will know about them soon. This theory is indeed very complex but I'll let you know what I think. Shadow's powers are kinda a mixture of living legend set and jet. Dot let me explain, basically in Shadow Fight 2 Shadow had a blue shield like jet as you can say. Well in Shadow Fight 3 he has a yellow shield which allows him not to take any damage so here are my theories. First theory is his shield got updated, after so many years with this shield power it got updated and turned into yellow, dot yet it is more powerful from before which makes him take no damage and also regenerates his health. Theory 2 is we all know that Shadow is a legendary, which means he is connected to the Legion. So yes as far as I think he somehow got the power of living legend and his power isn't like any ordinary living legends. He wilds a special kind of shield which allows him not to take damages and regenerates health. Well that's all I could have think. Leave your comments about it below. Time travel brother, time doesn't count whenever a thing is destroyed or not, when you go back in time things will turn just like the past. done brother, a loop can make the talk more efficient, yes they are fighting each other in loops like they are just fighting uselessly. But bro in Shadow Fight 3 we saw Marcus's loop break but he doesn't fight himself. So yes this theory is not logical enough, well since Shadow Mind is a deity who knows it might be true. Well what do you think? Why is Shadow Mind making them fighting in a loop, do let me know in the comments. Hi bro the answer is easy, the portal might help to do a time travel, but descendant didn't replace someone in time, so yes no probs, 
and also you're free to ask me any type of questions bro, I love to solve confusions to be honest don't feel very dumb about that man. Brother, the answer is very complex. Neki confirmed that SF2 world and SF3 world the same just SF2 timeline is before SF3. In SF3 people are divided into factions and yes they are divided into different professions, who knows those characters right now are living among us but we just didn't knew. Maybe some of them aren't even alive, their descendants are influencing over the world now, so yes the answer can't be given actually. Do you want to know about the secret of Falcon George? Let me tell you about it. Falcon George is not in the Legion. Dot, but it is situated in the mountains, near the Legion territory, many anomalies occurs here, so some cults use this opportunities to come here and worship another world deity. One of the anomalies says this place has a possible passage to a timeless dimension. If you don't understand what's this dimension, I must reveal it's the breach between. Well it is also rumored that there lives a master who trains in this area to improve his outdated fighting style. There also remains a stone carved face which we are saying Titan, Neki confirmed it's the face of a monster, a parasite for whom life itself meant nothing. This are the secrets of the Falcon George as you see, this carved stone monster might be Titan, well it's not confirmed yet. So yes I'm sure you're talking about these two places. Well I have a theory to share which can actually prove that these two places are the same. You see this place of SF3 up here is entirely made from Shadow's memory, so yes that can be a possible hint that this temple of SF3 used to be that location at the past. Allow me to explain, so basically Bolo sent clone to stop her to deliver the prototype to Shadow Bekaus if Shadow gets the prototype he will succeed to do the Kleesni. Itu basically tells us that it was him who gave Shadow the prototype so to stop him Bolo sent us to the past to stop Itu giving Shadow the prototype. Fortunate stopping him, Kibo gets the prototype and gives it to Shadow. That's how history didn't change and Shadow got the prototype after all. Again Bolo sends clone to stop Kibo to give Shadow the prototype which results Queen Yolanda giving Shadow the prototype. So yes after that when Bolo sends clone to stop Yolanda, history still doesn't changes, and this time after stopping Yolanda. Bolo gives Shadow the prototype, so here's the thing Bolo discovers no matter how many people they stop for to met traveling Shadow will always get the sphere no matter what. Later we came to know that happened due to the influence of historical index. So that's why Bolo, Itu and Clone gives up trying to through going to, to the past. And yes that's why Bolo says sorry. Well Shadow Fight always reworks on stuffs to make it enchanting. There seems no possible reasons for Shadow Beasts to bed for it. Well in the future Neki might tell us more about this. Here comes the plot brother. Final part of SF3 isn't just like a normal story. It's an end game, as we know various characters that we know from the past and the future will be helping us Tawan from Shadow's descendant aka Stranger and to save the world. We can see that Nanami and Kitsune are arriving in various places to help us in the storyline. So yes, they will surely be in the final part. Alright, time for the bonus theory from my side. Well not a theory, it's confirmed. Have you ever thought what these shadow bats are? Well today I'm about to tell a confirmed information about them. Neki Dev Lady has talked about this bats. As you can see a detailed information about them is given below. So thank you all for watching the video. 
I know some of the theories of yours Aramishi. Well I'm yet researching on them and you'll soon get them to next video. Thank you for your patience and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave us a like and subscribe if you're new. Dot I'll see you all in another video.